It wasn't a typical volleyball game for a group of students at Coconut Creek last night. As Kaplan's Asia Amberster reports, it was more competitive than it was fun in the dark. Kids and sports have always been a dynamic duo. Here at Coconut Creek Community Center, they decided to use this model and turn up the fun while turning down the lights. As recreation programmers, Nicole and Isis prepare to light up the night. Time slowly passes by as teens roll in and immediately start warming up. Me and Catrice just did the go in the dark pickleball league and we had like tape and lights already bought and I love volleyball so I was like let's do go in the dark volleyball and then we have open gym for volleyball some Fridays like before basketball season and then all these kids came out so I was like they would definitely want to do it and it's yeah. basically all of them so I knew it would be a lot of fun. Customized glow in the dark shirts were provided to every team and you can't forget about the special effect volleyball. There was some fun times while playing but the lights did make it difficult. I have a disease called keratoconus, so I can't see depth perception. So when the lights are off, it like made everything awful. I kept missing almost every other pass. I kept missing every other hit. It was pretty interesting, but it honestly was a little bit fun. Compared to official games where competitiveness is emphasized, everyone had time to be their silly selves. A different atmosphere because usually you have like I guess you could describe them as like kind of sterile lights and it's like very professional athletic the blinding lights. The cynicism yeah. was not fun. Yeah, <laughs> but it. with with everything off, I don't know. I felt more fun, more like yeah, yeah loud. Overall, teamwork and good sportsmanship were key, and even with the lights on, they couldn't stop playing or dancing. Well. We're spiking our way on out of here. This is Aisha Ambrister, Kaplan News.